All right, let's talk about a few tools that are going to help you to create nice, clean um, illustrations in Illustrator. So we're going to talk about um, our rulers and our grids and the snapping um, feature that we have on Illustrator. So first of all, go up to your view menu, click it, and then go down to show, or actually, let's see here, rulers, show ruler, and click on that. You'll notice that these rulers appeared up on the edges, right? And then you'll notice that whenever you move your mouse around, that you get this very faint line on both rulers that, that show exactly where you're pointing in terms of where your rule is. So if you wanted something to be exactly two inches from the edge, you could just the way I just did, you could position it exactly two inches from the edge, right? Just like that. You can also do this. You can also bring yourself down some guides. Just go up to the uh, ruler, click and hold, and then slide down. I'm going to go down to two inches and I'm going to let go. And you get this little light blue or teal colored line. That doesn't show up in publication. That's just like an invisible line to kind of help you uh, create your designs. So it's especially useful if you're doing something really um, symmetrical. So for example, if you wanted to do something that where you really wanted this uh, you know, like a little column in the middle, just be like this, right? You want, or like you wanted a little column of space and then you wanted otherwise to have text, something like here, if you're creating a publication or a magazine cover or something like that. So now, you know, okay, I can put my cover, my text here, I can put my headline up here, you know, or whatever. It's, they're just useful little tools. All right. The next feature I'd like you to see, you go up to view, and then go down to show grid. You notice that this nice little grid appears um, every, let's see, eighth of an inch, I believe. Let's see, there's a quarter, half, quarter, eight. no, actually it's every 16th of an inch. So very detailed, especially when you get in real close, it's especially helpful. You kind of go right to them and just, you know, if you want it, if you're doing something very symmetrical, you want everything to be exact, Three quarters of an inch big. You don't have to eyeball it. You can just pull out your rulers or your grid and you can just trace along the grid. So very helpful with that, for that. The only downside to that is uh, we humans have shaky hands, especially if you drink as much coffee as I do. Um, I don't know about you, but so you can tell when I zoom in real close, you can see, ah, I actually missed it. See? You can fix that by doing this. Zooming in real tight and moving it into place and then just zooming in real. Oh, I see. Yeah, I even missed it just now. It's still not quite on line. At least this one's not when you zoom in ridiculously close. You can see it's like a little. A little uh, one electron off or, you know, really close, but not quite on. So that's where this comes into effect. Go down. Oh, sorry. Go click on view and then go click on snap to grid. So snap to grid, whenever we, uh, whenever we you know, create a, like a box, for example, I don't know if you noticed, but I did not go right to that corner, but it automatically created it in the nearest corner. Now let's look real close. You know, see, I'm zoomed in ridiculously close and it's right on the line. That's because it just snapped me to the line automatically. Let me increase the size of this box that I'm creating here. You notice it jumps every uh, I think it's every 16th of an inch in this setting and you can adjust those settings if you want it to not jump be a 16th of an inch but rather an eighth of an inch or whatever you can change that but you see it snaps to the grid very helpful creating nice clean